Peggy 16. Team play is a critical part of the Ghost Recon Online experience. And by adding clans, we can extend team play and take it to the next level. Here on the dev team, we knew it was important to get clans to you as quickly as possible, so you can form the social bonds and connections that come with being part of a clan. In a clan, the shared experiences of playing and winning together, sharing tips and strategies, it helps bring people together, and it makes the experience just that much more fulfilling. But we also know how important it is to be able to compete. Pitting yourself against your enemies, proving that you and your clan are the best, and being recognized for your efforts. Now, we weren't able to deliver all these at once. So we'll be introducing clans in the 090 patch, going live the 24th of October. But for the first release, we'll be focusing on the social elements of clans. So you'll be able to manage your own clans, creating them, inviting members, promoting officers to help with the management of the clan. But having a strong clan identity is critical. So in addition to naming your clan, you'll be able to set your clan tag and customize your clan crest. The clan crest doesn't just show in your clan, but can actually be used in place of your personal avatar to really show everyone where your loyalty lies. On the 16th of January next year, we'll be adding the competitive aspects of clans in Ghost Recon Online. And this is when you'll be able to issue challenges and set up matches between your clan and others. You'll be able to choose whether to play unranked or ranked matches and the ranked matches will be tracked through stats and leaderboards to help you and everyone else identify who the best clan really is. And that's just the beginning. We know that clans aren't just important to the Ghost Recon Online team, but to the community as well. So we'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions about what we've done, about what's coming, and about what you'd like to see in the future.